Guys, the amount of bees that are around here. Oh, fucking no, thank you. God, I've no idea how to get home, you know. I'm still fly, I know. I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video, everyone. It's not really welcome back to another video because technically I have been vlogging all day. It's currently 2.50 in the afternoon, which is extremely late for me to be starting my adventure vlog. Like I said, I was filming this morning, but it was just me doing, you know, bits that I had to get done. Literally, as they say, I've been getting shit done all morning. And I did film a bit for you, so I will insert some clips now. Hello world, welcome back to another video. I'm in my adventure book at the moment and I thought it would be maybe interesting to show you guys how I sort of plan my adventures. So, I've got this book. It's very boring on the outside. Oh, handy, but this is her. Oh my God, and have you actually even seen that? What's on the desk? Who doesn't want their face on a mouse pad? on the desk. Everyone does. And I've got one. Anyway, back to what I'm doing right now. I'm um, planning some adventures. You come in here and I've got all my adventures. This is like the first time I went wild swimming. And then I've got wish list where I'd like to go. So that was the Jurassic Coast, which I did. Liquid Leisure was so fun. I put smiley faces when I've been there. I don't tick it. So if I've like actually done it, I'll put little smiley faces there, which is fun, and so on. And that's basically how I set up my little adventure book. And it's always, it's always quite nice to look back and be like, oh yeah, like I did that. I wrote it down, I wanted to do it, and I did that. So I'm going to keep planning some more adventures, and then I'm going to go to the London to field today, and I'm going to take you guys with me. And that's basically it. Yeah, this is my adventure book. Hope you like it. <laughs> Look at these, like walks in London. Um, this is a map, which honestly, I looked at that and I was like, how? It's such an old school way to sort of adventure, I think, because there's no way in hell I would understand anything on that map. Um, also, you know what I was thinking? So, because we're obviously going to the lavender fields, right? And look what I'm wearing. <laughs> Who wears bright orange shorts and sorry and this shirt to a lavender field. This shirt literally says hello sunshine and it's got a sunflower on it. A little bit um, ironic I think but it will be fine. I could have worn this dress. Imagine wearing this dress to the lavender field. Imagine. Right? <laughs> How good would that have been? There's no way I'm doing that though. We're gonna stick with this. We will meet up when we're on our way to the lavender fields. Get excited. Wait, I need to find out where I'm going. My phone is on 4% and I'm gonna get lost. I need to go that way. Okay, back on track. I had to stop the camera there for a bit because like I said, my phone is literally on 4%. It's gonna die any second now. And I don't entirely know where I'm going, but I'm back on track. I had to cross a massive roundabout, which always scares me, so that's fine. Oh, now I've got to cross a person. Okay, where was I at? Oh yeah, so this morning I planned some adventures, which was really good. I feel productive in doing that. Also, I finally enrolled into this course I want to do, which is so exciting, because I've been putting it off for ages, but this morning I finally made the payment and uh, finalized the enrollment process. So now it's just a matter of getting started. And what else have I done? It feels like I've done more, but I think that's it. Anyway, I've had a really productive day and I knew I wanted to come out and do something, but I don't know about you guys, but if I haven't left the house by like two, three in the afternoon, I'm probably not going to just because I kind of like get in a rut and I'm like, well, I might as well just have a chill day now. But I I don't like having chill days. I always feel really like, 
like jittery and uncomfortable I don't know I like to be outside especially when the weather's nice which it is today <sighs> so I thought I'd take us to the lavender fields I'm on the road now so it should take me like five more minutes to get to the lavender field I doubt it's gonna be like <laughs> overly exciting it's just a, a like a farm full of lavenders and whatnot anyway I hope everyone's doing well uh, I feel like I haven't spoken to the camera in a while. Actually, I did the other day. Something I gotta tell you guys. Don't laugh at me, but funny story. On Friday, it was like 37 degrees and I had the day off work and I actually walked to the lavender field where I'm walking now. It took me an hour and a half. I was sweating buckets, mate. It was so hot. I was sweating so much. Um, and I didn't even end up going in because I got too nervous. I literally stood on the other side of the road, looked at the lavender field, saw how many people there were and was like, nah, not today, not like this. So I'm going back today for round two. Hopefully I don't chicken out and actually just go in and enjoy myself. Oh my God, guys, literally I can see the lavender field in the distance. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. It's literally over there. You might be able to. Oh, fuck, it looks insane. It literally looks like purple grass. Oh my God, I, oh my God, I just got so much more excited. I don't, I don't think you'll be able to see it from here, but it looks crazy cool, very cool. Very excited. Let's go, I'm walking a bit faster now. Might have to take my jacket off because it is quite warm. But I'm almost at the field. Oh, it looks so cool. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. All right, guys, I am i don't know if I'm in it right now. I mean, obviously, take a look. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later, I have started it's just love in every glass I'm drinking. My understanding was that you had to pay to get in, but I kind of just walked through a car park and sort of came in. So I don't know if I like came in the wrong way or what, but I'm at the, I think I'm in the lavender field right now. I don't know. I need to sit and regroup and figure out what's going on. This is really sweet. It's basically saying that they're a baby lavender field, but it also says down here that they'll never charge for you to enter. So I don't know where I read that you had to pay to get in because you don't, and I'm in it now, but this one's just a little baby. I want to find the cool, bigger one. It's not here. Oh, you know what? I can smell camping. Someone's got a fire going and it smells really good. Oh my God, look what I found. I found a bee farm, look. That's like all their hives are in there. Well, for all you lot that eat honey, that's where you get it from. <laughs> Maybe not there necessarily, but you know. Lavender planning machine. Oh my God, why can't they be doing that now? <gasps> oh, that's so cool. I had no idea that that's what it would like be like. Well, I don't want to walk away from the lavenders because I feel like if I go this way, I might be walking away from the lavenders. But they're there, but that isn't it. I'm telling you, there's more lavenders than that. I just don't know where. Hmm. We're like one without you, I'm sinking. I'm always shining next to you. Oh, I got you, there's no reason to. Guys, the amount of bees that are around here. Oh fucking no, thank you. <gasps> the bees are gonna think that the sunflower on my shirt is a real flower. I've been stung by a bee once in my life when I was a child and I didn't like it very much, so I don't want it to happen again if I can help it. <laughs> cute, look, this is like their little shrubs. Look how cute they are, look. Shrubs. Aww. 
All right, so they grow the shrubs there and then they put them on that machine that we saw in the picture and then they just distribute those motherfuckers, get them out there. I like it. Good method. Well guys, we found the big lavender field. There she is. I'm contemplating going in. I mean, I probably should, but I'm like, I can kind of see it from here, you know? My best friend would kill me though, because she really wanted to, she loves lavender and it's her favorite color and she loves lavender itself. And she really always wanted to go to the fields. But when she was over in London, she didn't realize that there was a lavender field in England. She only thought it was in France, the same as me, but here she is guys. London, England, lavender field. My phone just died. Oh God, I have no idea how to get home, you know. I'm just gonna have to wing it, I might walk. I'm content with seeing the baby field. All right guys, don't judge me. I know you're gonna judge me a little bit, but I'm not going into the field. I saw it from the other side of the gate and I did get to go through that little baby field, which was really nice, it was sweet. And I'd almost prefer that than being in the big one amongst so many people honestly the queue to get in there would have taken me like a half hour just waiting in line it's been a good day i didn't even think i'd make it out of the house to be honest after my beautiful getting shit done morning i had so honestly i'm glad i got out so hopefully you guys enjoyed um i did want to take like just you know a couple of seconds to say thank you for everyone who's subscribed recently it means the world obviously that's not really i'm not on here for I, I'm sure everyone says this, but I genuinely mean it. Like, I'm not on here to, like, get a bunch of subscribers, get a million likes on a video. Not really my point. I just kind of want to have fun. I genuinely enjoy doing it, so it's a good hobby for me as well. And if people enjoy watching it, that is just such a bonus. So I'm loving the interaction on my videos. Like, you guys are commenting, and I can talk back. And it's cool. It's like I'm making some friends almost. All right. I'm gonna leave it at that guys. Go and enjoy your day, your night, whatever time it is for you. Go have fun, go have a swim, go for a walk, whatever. Like and subscribe if you want to. And apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next video and for the next adventure. But I think I'll leave you on a little bit of a handstand update. Let me show you. I'm getting quite good at not to like toot my own horn, but your girl's been perfect. This is a flat ground, might I add. That'll do for now, okay. Bye. Let's hold on tight. Found what we